In the Bible, we find one of the most beautiful appeal from God. It says, Today, if you hear His voice, harden not your heart. Would you like to spend this day with God? Listen to this devotional. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen G. White. The Lord's Philosophy. To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Isaiah 8, verse 20. The Lord's philosophy, plainly outlined in His Word, is to be our rule of life. The entire being is to be under the control of the One who knows the end from the beginning. The Bible, and the Bible only, is to be our guide. We must follow and obey the life-giving principles of heaven, not only our inclinations. The wisdom and the power of God working upon the receptive heart brings mind and character into harmony with the laws and rules of heaven. Individually, we must have the guidance of the Holy Spirit in order to communicate to the world the great facts of truth and righteousness. We are bidden to sound an alarm to the people. The watchmen must not fail now. They must watch unto prayer that they may have a clear perception of their obligation to Him who, through the only begotten Son of God, came to our world to lead men and women away from the guidance of Satan. We are to instruct and guide souls to look to Christ's example, to realize their obligation to Him whose they are by creation and by redemption. He is the owner of every man and woman and child who comes into the world. This he became by paying the redemption price. If fallen human beings will consent to become sons and daughters of God in willing obedience, they will become one with Christ. The Savior has bought them by giving his life to pay the penalty of sin. Those who are truly converted will reveal the saving grace of Christ by laboring for these souls blinded by Satan. In their own lives, God's workers are to show forth the power of truth and righteousness. The world is soon to meet the great lawgiver over his broken law. Those only can hope for pardon who turn from transgression to obedience. We are to raise the banner on which is inscribed the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. This is the great issue. Let it not be put out of sight. We must strive to arouse church members and those who make no profession to see and obey the claims of the law of heaven. We are to magnify this law and make it honorable. We are to arouse those who are sunk in spiritual slumber.